Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Rick. welcome back to an episode of Can I Beat Pole in Assetto Corsa, but before we get into it, why the head down below, like and subscribe, as it does help out a lot. So let's get right into it, of course, we are at the Sochi Autodrome for this week's video. Of course, last weekend there was the Russian Grand Prix, and whoa, was it amazing. Lando on pole, of course with Lewis down in fourth place. A hugely dramatic race with, of course, Lando Norris leading most of it. Of course, Sainz got the lead, but then Norris took it back, and with only about three laps to go, he lost, of course, because it started raining, and he didn't want to come in, lose the lead, and go on to the intermediate tyres. So he actually finished in seventh place. But we are going to be in the McLaren, of course, because they did take pole, and I guess we're going to see how fast we can go. Of course, pole was on the soft but it was still quite uh, quite damp so I guess we're going to see if we can beat the 141.993 I'm pretty sure it was which should be quite easy so I guess let's get right into it and see if we can. So there we go across the line a really messy lap over there definitely could have gone a lot faster we actually beat pole straight away which of course I knew was, was going to be a lot easier because we're not sliding all over the place like they did during quality of course because it's well it's not raining over here it's bone dry. But I guess I'm going to give myself a little bit of time just to see if I, how fast I can go and if I, can, if I can improve this time even more. So let's see how the McLaren MCL 35M looks like going around Sochi. So there we go across the line, 1.3 seconds up. There was definitely definitely at least a full second in that lap over there. A 140.066. So I guess we're going to see if I can go any more. I guess I'll give myself other than maybe 10 minutes, a couple more laps just to see if I can if I can improve at all, which I definitely know I can. There we go across the line, another huge improvement on the uh, well, throughout the whole lap of the 1.5, well, nearly 1.6 seconds up. So that brings, uh, or kind of down our best to 138.488. And honestly, there's at least half a second, if not even more, because I definitely messed up on one corner. That could have at least been two seconds improvement over there. So I guess I'm going to see if I can go any faster. So there we go, another four tenths up. I really messed up in the last corner over there, though. Two tenths about over there. So I'm going to go for one more, and I guess we'll see uh, if I can improve even more. And across the line for the final lap, a 137.538 is the best we could achieve. And honestly, if I messed around with the setup more and gave myself more time, uh, a 137 definitely could be possible. Even a 136, maybe a 135. Who knows? This setup really wasn't that good. I couldn't really turn too well. But uh, I gained a lot of, uh, a lot of time on the straights. Uh, but no, it was definitely a, a cool uh, lap time, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I can't really you know, compare it to anything. 
because uh, last year's decals were like fast ones, stuff like that. But that's beside the point. I enjoyed it. The, the Grand Prix was absolutely amazing, of course. Lewis taking his 100th win in Formula 1. That is just a huge achievement. But for now, that is going to be it. So I guess I'll see you in about two weeks' time for the Turkish Grand Prix. And I guess I'll, I'll see if I can beat the pole time then. Hopefully it's not going to rain like it did last year. So I actually have a proper time to, to kind of set it to. But I guess for now, that is going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.